yet another episode of the Daily Desiree Show. Um, my name is Desiree Henry and I am joined by my amazing co-host once again. Deji, what's good? What's good? Deji. <laughs> my heart. What's my up? everything. What's up? The last few hours of watching the athletics has been mind-blowing. Um, yeah, it's a bit mad still. I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of... Um, for those who know me well, who watch this, you know um, my head's been gone. Yeah. <laughs> my head's gone, guys. My head's gone. Is this kind of like for me um, and I I told you so moment? Um, uh, well, because yesterday, that, that, well, no, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I said, and we can, anyone who's listened to the first episode. Okay, this, break it down for him. I said, Elaine mm-hmm. will definitely get silver or gold. Or gold, or gold. But I said that... You know, Shelley was going in favour, which with the data I had, and we like to use data, the data I the, had. Forget data, I on, went on with experiences. The data I had going into this championships was Shelly probably looking in favour. Yeah. However, honestly, after the semi final, I think we spoke, and I said, Yeah, yeah. The way that Elaine commanded her semi final, 10 mm-hmm. 6 shape was more than there. And Shelly looked fantastic as well, yeah. and dropped around 10 73 in the semi Yeah. But it wasn't as commanding as um, Elaine. Elaine. So, big up Elaine Thompson. Congratulations. Um, Elaine Thompson, hero. Yes. Let's get that right. Holter Hubby. Yes. And amazing. She's a phenomenal athlete, phenomenal talent. Injuries have held her back. But mm. what we saw uh, this evening in Japan was, like I said in my, uh, my story, it's phenomenal, man. Like, phenomenal. It's hard to describe how fast 10-6 is. Exactly. I don't think energy. people really realise how fast 10 6 is mm. like that's not a 1068 high you know this is going close to 10 five like it's and mad. it was the pointing across the line for me yeah. that was just like look you see that time because i about. see the time i'm about, I'm about. i Honestly. just broke an olympic record um <laughs> yeah i'm here oh we actually witnessed like legit like you know yeah, we witnessed history. History. Real, real history. history. And obviously, anything that happens to would have been history, but sometimes in life, you see history. Yeah. Right, I mean. Um, but a couple of things on that, though. I think she was just so commanding in the race. She got mm-hmm. out so well in Very comparison well. to, like, how she would usually do against Shelly. Yeah, she it's like, but Shelly made about. another gear and, and she responded oh, again. Yeah, and, 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 you know, yeah, honestly, the Jamaica, and obviously Sharik, so obviously Shelly, Shelly, yeah, came second. Yeah. Sharika Jackson, Jackson came third. The girl ran 1076. For a Jamaican one, two, three sweep. You know she's a 400 meter runner? I know. Well, she was a 400 meter runner. Not anymore. She is a one to four runner now, which one is to crazy. Four. Um, and probably the most crazy one to four runner we've ever seen in all time. But it, it's crazy. I have to give hats on to her on that. I was um, thinking, when was the last time that we kind of saw someone come down drastically from the four hundred to the hundred? Is that Alison um, Felix? Oh yeah, Alison Felix does that. Hold tight, Jodie Williams done yeah. that. <laughs> bang bang. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Alison Felix obviously has. Um, Felix, sorry, obviously has done that. She's run 10-8 before. Yeah. Now, a lot of people were talking, they didn't seem like there was like, after the final, the girls were still <laughs> in a lot of competition mode. Like, it wasn't like... <laughs> yeah, everyone come together. It weren't no kumbaya mode. And it, it wasn't. But honestly, I'm not surprised because... Hey, you want to win. You want to win. Everybody on that line actually had the capabilities capability to win mm-hmm. and if you don't achieve that your instant reaction is not going to be oh yeah i'm happy it's going to be like i didn't do it oh yeah. my goodness 100%. and i felt like watching elaine's reaction just brought pure joy because just to see her run scream yes she was celebrating alone with no fans also yeah, but it was just like that was her moment that was her moment to be able to appreciate her performance Yes, there was again no real kumbaya right after, but you know what? Like we said, everyone hey man, goes in to win. This is it, and Shelly's there to win. Shelly was not there to come second. No, she was coming there to, to win a gold because she's not won a gold in an Olympic game since 2012. Wow, um, which is still phenomenal. 2008, <laughs> 2012. I mean, she's this is her fourth Olympic games. She's an absolute legend. She's a, she's she's a goat. Like, uh, yeah. she's a goat. Um, 
but we were Elaine now. Elaine has stepped forward, and with the competitions coming up, and this next short cycle to Paris. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely oh, be incredible. Crazy. But I know that there was talks of Shelly Ann saying that this would be her last Olympics and World Championships next year mm -hmm. will be like the last yeah, she, time she, that she's going to be here. But my whole thing is. If you're still running really well, why stop? Oh. <laughs> like, why not just keep going? It's just like, you know what? If so you, long. But knock me off the team. Like, no. or is, is it best finish to... Your top, okay, you want to finish, you wanna finish when it's cool. You, you don't want, you don't want um, to be finishing and like, you're like really strong. I, I, mean? I guess so. Yeah, but, but she's not gonna, I mean, she wouldn't be struggling, even if no. she was pushing 10 nines and stuff. She, she's made amazing, uh, I'm sure she made good money on the commercial scene. Um, Shelly, listen, if you need, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Plug in but there. No, no, she's made good money and she's, she's, yeah, 34. She maybe wants to build a family again. I don't know. Very, and that's Who another knows? thing that we cannot forget. This is a mother. This is someone that has taken time out of the sport to give birth and come back and still be able to be a real contender on the world class stage and also come away with a medal so I just feel like she's an inspiration to so many in so many different ways and mm -hmm. although that she hasn't got the gold in reality in other people's eyes she's still a champion she's still absolutely incredible yeah, and one that just needs her credit where credit's due and that's I just want the ladies and I like this this it seems like the women's 100 this time around is a lot more a lot more focused on it yeah as to the men's perhaps yeah and I hope that um that can be the case because obviously we had a lot of time with the men having a lot of focus with you saying over Most the years definitely. but now I think the, the women are women taking are over up, taking um, centre stage you know the homegirl out in America right now uh, Shikari is yeah. going to be you know itching to be out there and competing so Most I think definitely. Oregon um, Eugene World Champs next year is going to be fire it's going to be like, very, um, but let's talk fire. about some of the other competitors in the final yes some big some big big results Hold tight, like, Talu. Now, yeah. Maria Talu, man, she's come fourth again. Which is tough. I I had her down as a medal contender to yeah, be yeah. in the mix. I think she's going to come third. I, yeah, and we saw in every single run that um, we see her compete in, she, you can tell she's giving effort. Obviously, in comparison to some of the other sprinter styles, it's a little bit more relaxed, but for her, it's like, I need to tense up and whatever in order to get the fastest times out of me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like for her, it's a case of I need to leave everything on the track. And we saw it in the final, but unfortunately, in this occasion, it wasn't enough. But it's just like, we were rooting for you. Like, I was rooting for you it's to tough, still man. sneak in there and get a it's medal. Tough. And I just fall for her because, like you mentioned, this is the second time now that she's come forth. Um, so, Talu, I think she came forth in. This champs, uh, this majors, and then she came forth again in Rio. Rio. And I think she came forth in like, 200 meters as well at some point. Wow. But either way, man, tough. tough, tough very, tough, very, tough. very tough. Um, but what's also exciting mm -hmm. is Daryl Nita, hey. British girl, making the Listen, final man, of the um, women's 100 meters. Yeah. That cannot be overlooked. It cannot be overlooked, especially, obviously, there's a lot, you know. We're gonna go into the women's GB women's yeah, right now. Yeah. Um, so that one with the final was big. Amazing. She's had an amazing championships. Mm -hmm. Um 1096 in the heat, backed up with an 11 flat, you know, second fastest time she's ever run in the semi-final. Yeah. You, know, you can't knock that. So that will run 11 flat in the semi, the second fastest time she's ever run. Ever. Um in the semi-final of the big game, which is amazing, having run 1096 before. Mm. And then the final, sure, 11 12 coming eighth. You look, it's not what she you, on the interview, she looked disappointed. Yeah. Um, and I can understand that. She's obviously she's a competitor, like she 100%. wants to be competing and wants to you want to give a PV potentially yeah. in that in that moment. But you know, she's had an amazing um an amazing championship, both very well for the future and the future um events coming up next year and so forth. Um but Dina obviously not making the final is a very big shock to many people. Many, many people. And yeah, Desiree, talk to me about that. Like, it surprised me, and I'm sure it surprised a lot of people at home, not only um, her not qualifying for the final, but hearing her story around what she's been going through for the last month in the build-up to the Olympics, it's just like, this isn't ideal. When you're standing on that line, you want to be able to go into the battlefield mm -hmm. feeling and thinking that I am 100% ready. If anyone or whatever happens in any direction, I am ready for it. And yeah, my, I'm, my heart breaks for her because this 
is not the outcome that she wanted, I can imagine. Yeah, it wouldn't be. I mean, she is a big competitor. You know, I, when I see Dina, I always think that whatever shape she's in, she's going to give the best, right? She's going to deliver and even go a bit beyond. So it's, um, it was, yeah, strange to see her, having seen her so much in more recent years in a certain way. Yeah. Like she's executing races, she's in the mix. So it's strange to see her like, not more at the top end of a, of a semi-final even of the heat yeah. do you know what I mean um, but you know hopefully she's she's still uh, like she's not in pain right now it's from yeah. a physical perspective like she can still run and she's exactly. healthy because the relay's coming up yeah. obviously she's pulled out the 200 mm-hmm. um, which you know for me I don't know man like if she was uh, in shape to run I would still love to see her run yeah um, as long as she wasn't going to do any more damage to her body or anything like that mm. because you just don't know what's going to happen this yeah. is the Olympic Games baby this is this the is Olympic, Olympic Games, Games baby we've just seen today people get disqualified yeah you know we just don't know whether like what could happen and yeah. so if you're in it you give yourself a best chance to, to be still there and maybe you know in the way she's running now, like, could she have been Gabby Thomas, who's coming in with 21.6? 21, 21. That's true, Gabby It would have been quite tight. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Gabby Thomas is an American sprinter who's running exceptionally. <laughs> uh, 21.6 on the 200 is, is no, no joke. Not at all. <laughs> at all. Not at all. Um, but look, man, we want, you know, we're British. We want Dina fit, ready, yeah. fit, healthy. And, you know, the relay is a massive opportunity for the GB girls to get um, a medal. A medal. Um, and you know, hold tight. Obviously, Gateway Sports Asha Philip as well. You know, she had a, a, a tough semi final in, in that sense. That was pretty loaded. Yeah, it was loaded. Yeah. It was loaded. But even with that, you know, and, and you know, we know Asha well. You know, we know mm-hmm. she wanted to do um, to do really, really well. So yeah, you know, sending love. And again, let's go for the relay. Yeah. Um, and let's get ourselves in that mix. But wow, what can we say? Day two of the athletics was absolutely incredible. And, you know, ideally we would have covered all of the other athletics events, but today was just so, so special. Yeah, I mean, the 100 metre women was powerful. So we had to kind of give that due time. Um, But quick shout out though to the 800 metre women. They were fire, all three ladies, Alex Bell, Kiri Hodgkinson and Gemma Ricky amazing all through to the final congratulations um but yeah i think this is it for now yeah tomorrow we're back yes for the daily desiree show what's up take care